Okay, now that we have added a top upper and toolbar to our application, let's learn about navigation drawer. Yeah, the navigation drawers provide some access to destinations in your application. Yeah, like in this uh, GIF. Yeah, uh, you can use it with apps that have uh, five or more top level destinations or two or more levels of navigation hierarchy and it can also provide a quick navigation between unrelated destinations yeah uh, any menu that don't fit anywhere maybe on the overflow menu on the bottom uh, upper or uh, maybe on the toolbar yeah anything else uh, you can provided in the navigation drawer so this is a structure of the navigation drawer yeah we will have uh, multiple sections over here yeah to actually make a navigation drawer then uh, we must create a menu object xml to render the menus within the drawer body yeah and optionally uh, you can create a drawer header if you want yeah, this is the header and then this is the menus yeah and we will create a drawer layout with a navigation view widget to actually hold uh, both objects yeah the drawer header and the drawer menu so let's try to add a navigation drawer to our application yeah so instead of back button which yeah as i said earlier it doesn't make any sense because this is the topmost activity yeah and you have the uh, back button from the android navigation bar yeah so inside of back we will make it a uh, hamburger menu when we click on the hamburger menu then we will display a navigation drawer okay to create a navigation drawer menu we will create like we did previously uh, when we created uh, menu icons for the toolbar yeah let's create a new menu then on the menu right click then select menu resource file and name it drawer underscore menu Okay, now uh, you can uh, modify your drawer menu as you wish. Yeah, for example, we have uh, two widget groups over here. Yeah, we have the menu top and the menu bottom. Uh, you must set the ID to for this menu group yeah, to be the menu top and the menu bottom or otherwise the divider lines won't show okay so let's do that yeah let's add two groups first uh, but make it on the same level yeah uh, don't make it uh, don't make this group to be the child of this group yeah they should be equal in level and let's id them first this one is menu top this one is menu bottom Yeah, and inside let's create um one two three four five six seven yeah seven more uh, menu items premium chart playlist favorites profile inbox and sign out okay um let's see for premium we don't have any icons i think uh, the chart also playlist uh, i think we have favorites okay let me check our troubles yeah yeah, it seems that we are missing some icons. You can uh, provide your own icons here yeah, for premium chart favorites and sign out. Okay, I will add for those icons first. For premium, um, okay, I think I will use. Uh, let me just search for premium first. No. We don't have it uh, let's see uh, i will use star okay 
Okay, and then for the chart. Okay, we have some charts over here. I think I will use this one. Uh, for playlist, I think we have already. I will use library books. And favorites. Okay, I don't have it. For favorite, I think uh, I know what I want. Oh, it's not hard, but favorite. Okay. And lastly, profile, I think we have it. Yeah, the person inbox, we have a email, mailbox, and for sign out, we don't have it. Uh, let's add. Do we have a sign out? No. Let's just use exit then. I will use this one here, exit to app. If you want, uh, you can search for another uh, suitable icon for sign out. But I think I will use this. And now uh, we can align or we can add the menu items here yeah? one two three and four to the menu top and one two and three for the menu bottom okay now uh, let's provide the ID, title, and icons. Yeah, uh, don't bother with show as action because uh, it will, won't be applied. Yeah, just provide the ID, title, and icon. Okay, the first one is item premium. The second one is chart. The third one is playlist. Yeah, now be careful with item playlist. Uh, I think we already have it in... Uh, I can't really remember. Yeah, maybe in the bottom nav menu. Yeah, we already have item playlist and actually item profile. Yeah, later be be careful with these IDs here. Okay, I will try to use item playlist also, although it's already used in another menu. Playlist, where are you? Okay, this one. And the last one is favorite. Item favorite. For the bottom one, it's item profile. Not pro cell, sorry. Okay, now if you uh, accidentally make a mistake like mine, be careful with refactor. Yeah, because uh, I already have uh, item profile, I think. So if I refactor, uh, I will preview it first. Yeah, because the item profile already exists, so I cannot name it or I cannot rename it to item. Yeah, it's still item profile. Profile. Uh, I will change it to. Hmm. Oh well, item profile site. Oh no. Okay. Uh, if you made uh, some mistake like mine, just delete this one and add a new one. 
item profile. Ya, yeah, for the icon is this. The second one is inbox. Item inbox. Inbox. And the icon is email. The last item is item sign out. Oops, sorry. Sign out. And the icon is exit. Okay, yeah, uh, there's quite a lot of menus over here. Now, and then blah, blah, blah. Okay, we have already uh, done this. Although, oh, okay, so for premium, uh, you can use the dollar, uh, dollar sign. Yeah? Premium access, music chart, playlist library, and favorites. Oh well, uh, I think I will leave them as uh, what we did previously. Yeah, if you want, uh, you can also follow this slide. Yeah, but I think I will leave it. And for the playlist library, we will will be set as initial active menu. To do so, adjust the checkable and checked attributes to true for the item playlist. Okay, uh, the checkable is actually by default is true, but if you want, uh, you can explicitly say it's checkable. And then for the check, just make it true. Yeah, and I think I will also make all of these are checkable. And now for the menu button, yeah, we will leave them as it is. Yeah, so they are not checkable, but for the menu top, all of the items are checkable. Now we will set a header. Yeah, we will create a new layout, name it a drawer header. Uh, this one is a ordinary layout, so let's just create it on this layout folder. Name it drawer underscore header. Oh, sorry, not a close parenthesis. Drawer header. And do some layout like this. Yeah, this one is an image view. Uh, constraint top left, right, scale type, center crop as usual. You can use any images as you wish. Yeah, here, uh, let's use, I think we have added the drawable yeah okay so let's just add the image view to text views and uh, card view for the for the avatar yeah, for the avatar uh, you can use any image as you wish yeah i think i will use this uh, image but i think i will rename it to use um, all our case. Oh, wait. Ah, okay. Hmm, that's weird. <laughs> okay, now let's uh, do the layout, yeah? Image view. Where are you? Image view. I will use this koala. His name is Triumph. Oh, sorry. Um, not this. Not the uh, avatar yet. This one it should be for the avatar. Okay, I will change it first to the playlist image. Okay. Ah, this one. Okay, I will add the constraint from here because the uh, image is quite large. Zero, zero, and ayo, zero, and then for the height, uh, let's make two hundred dp or maybe one fifty. Yeah, uh, I will try two hundred first. 
And then for the scale type, let's use center crop. Okay then. Now for two text views. Mm. Okay, I think I will add the email first. I will zoom in. Zoom in. Okay, uh, let's constrain it over here and to the bottom of our image view. Let's give it some uh, margin and let's provide a uh, dummy text here. Yeah. Um, I just use any emails as you wish. Uh, okay, I can't think of any emails. Maybe something like this. And if the text is illegible, then I just change uh, for the style. Yeah? Or maybe uh, if you don't have any style, then just change the text color. Text color just use white. Okay. Um, if you want, uh, you can also change the font family. Uh, I won't do that for simplicity sake. Yeah, and then uh, dummy name. Again, I will change the text color to white. Oops, sorry, not amber. White. And I think I will change the font family. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. font family to. Yeah, uh, maybe to Firasans. And I will change the style, or maybe I can just change the text appearance. Let me try it. Text appearance. I will try to change it to, uh, let's see, um, maybe header. And I will delete the font family. Okay, I, I must do this twice, yeah. I don't know why, but my Android Studio refuses to uh, actually apply um, text appearance. Header one. Okay, nice. And now for the avatar, let's just use a cut view. Yeah, the cut is actually optional. If you want for the avatar to be uh, rectangular you can just simply use a uh, image view yeah but by using cut view uh, you can stylize the cut later yeah so i will simply uh, make my cut view like this then i will create the layout width like 1 to 8 dp by 1 to 8 dp 1 to 8, <laughs> not... Oh, it's it's quite big. Okay, I will half it. 64 by 64. Okay, and then let's add an image view. Image view. And I will use my koala now. Ah, something like this. Yeah, for now, uh, I will leave the IDs as they are. Yeah, but later, uh, maybe you want to modify the text, maybe from a database, 
and the image to show the correct image yeah but for now uh, I'll, I will leave them as they are and if you want to create a rounded uh, avatar you can make use of card views uh where is it card corner radius if i give it a quite large value uh, let's try 10 first nope um i will use 50 yeah and you will have a rounded avatar yeah i think 50 dp is enough Okay, we have done this. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, for the avatar, uh, you can uh, use your own image or you can get some random profile over here. Yeah, random user.me slash photos. Yeah, and you can select any photos as you wish. Yeah, but Make sure that you put the photo inside the drawable and the file name should not have any numbers or any prefixes or any special characters. Yeah, if you have numbers in your uh, file name, I think it's okay, but just don't uh, start your image name with a number. Yeah, just use a just use a letter. Yeah. Now let's create the navigation drawer layout itself. Yeah, uh, we will create a drawer layout that holds both objects, the drawer menu and the drawer header. Okay, let's create another layout here. New layout resource file, name it drawer layout. Yeah, and then um, don't immediately enter it because we need to change the root element to drawer layout yeah so if you accidentally make the same mistake as mine let's see uh, can we convert the view to a drawer layout yeah we, we can do that yeah but for everyone else when you create a new layout Please change the root element to drawer layout. Okay, now this drawer layout needs to render the activity playlist detail layout as the content plus the navigational view component. Yeah, now let's drag and drop an in include widget. It should be in container. Ah, this one. Yeah, and select the activity playlist detail as the layout for our include. Yeah, now as you can see, we have our uh, activity playlist detail layout, but this time we created inside the drawer layout. Yeah, so include widget. Uh, functions as it name its name suggest yeah we can include another layout to our layout and then okay we must set this ID to drawer layout let's do that drawer layout and then we add a navigation view ah this one Yeah, don't worry if your layout immediately goes white yeah the include disappears don't worry we will uh, adjust it later now let's set uh, some attributes yeah for our navigation view for the header layout select your layout for the header which is a drawer header and then for the menu, select the drawer menu. Yeah, as you can see here, uh, the drawer actually fills in the entire space. Yeah, but we will make some adjustment. Layout gravity, uh, gravity should be used, 
using V and yeah, not F. Okay, layout gravity, let's change it to start. Layout gravity, we don't have it, so uh, we can force it in the code. Layout gravity, um, I think we should append it with Android. Android layout gravity equals to start. Yeah, uh, make sure you add this attribute inside the navigation view tag. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the design view. Yeah, and then, uh, what else? Yeah. Uh, fit system window. Fit system windows. Uh, by default, it's true, but let's check it. And then for everything else, I think it's okay. Now, uh, we need to load the drawer layout in the playlist detail activity because it has the capability to handle the drawer menu. Aside of our playlist detail activity layout, uh, we must also include our navigation drawer which we have done so in the drawer layout layout yeah so for our playlist detail activity instead of using activity playlist detail for the set content view change it to drawer layout yeah, and then uh, for every components in the original layout can still be accessed yeah, because we use the include component in the driver in the driver layout. If you remember, yeah, we have used uh, include widget here. So every component, every UI widgets in the activity playlist detail layout can still be accessed. Yeah, that's why we don't encounter any errors over here. Okay, now. To display the hamburger icon, yeah, open again the playlist detail activity and adjust several things. Yeah, this one now should be false instead of true. Yeah, and then uh, we define a variable for the drawer toggle. Yeah, the explanation is actually on the next slide. Yeah. Uh, we provide an action per drawer toggle. Yeah, this class provides a handy way to tie together the functionality of the drawer layout and the frame uh, the the action per framework to implement the recommended design for the navigation drawers. Okay, let's add this uh, far drawer toggle. I think we can set it outside the lat block far drawer toggle equals to action ah this one action per drawer toggle now the parameter is uh, quite a lot yeah this and then the drawer layout and then the toolbar is the id i think is toolbar and then the open drawer content description rest uh, r string app name and then uh, for the fifth parameter just provide the same string app name yeah and then uh, we must set the is drawer indicator enable to true and yeah, set true to enable the drawer indicator, which will show a hamburger icon. And the sync state, it synchronizes the state of the drawer indicator with the linked drawer layout yeah, to respond to open and close drawer. So let's change this with apply as usual. Is drawer indicator enabled equals to 
true and then sync state okay now oh we must go back to the drawer layout xml because we need to uh, we want to provide the click listener for the, our drawer menu yeah let's name this one as snap view um where is my drawer layout this one yeah, let's give it an ID of nav view. And then add some listener yeah, in the playlist detail activity uh, on the on create. Yeah, we set navigation item selected listener and then uh, checking the item ID. Yeah, I know it's quite a lot, but uh, we can simply copy and paste later for the for the text yeah, and then uh, for the drawer layout uh, we will close the drawer layout by calling close drawer yeah, and then just return true okay let's do over here yeah nav view dot set navigation item selected listener uh, we must return true so just type true first yeah, to uh, make the error go away and then uh, I will quote from the bottom yeah. drawer layout dot close drawer with uh, gravity uh, let's just use gravity compact dot start yeah, this means that uh, we will close the drawer uh, in the position of start. Yeah, start. Uh, if we use a uh, right, uh, sorry, left to right language, start is actually the left side, and n is right side. Yeah, but if we use a uh, uh, right to left layout, like in Arabic uh, language, yeah, start is actually on the right side, and n is on the left side. Yeah, it is switched. Yeah, if using start and end, we don't have to worry about the LTR or RTL layout, yeah, left to right or right to left layout. Android will automatically select the correct uh, site for, for us. Now, uh, because uh, the toasts are the same, yeah, except for the text, uh, instead I will make one toast, toast text and then the context is this yeah, but for the text I will use when when it dot item ID like this and I will prepare the third argument first toast dot length let's use a length shot then don't forget to change it with show and now uh, we can make the case in uh, this when yeah, r id item um, item premium for example premium so the text will be premium and so on yeah uh, item chart and then mm, where else yeah after the chart playlist and then favorite Okay, the last three one profile inbox sign out. Profile inbox. And then item sign out sign out since i use when i must provide else 
uh, I will just provide the an empty string then. Yeah, why? Because here when is used an, as an expression, yeah. But in this slide, when it's not used as an expression, so it does not need else. Okay, now let's try it. Yeah, uh, we have coded quite a lot, and we have uh, designed some layouts. Let's see if now our application will show an uh, a hamburger menu over here, and when click. Uh, we will be greeted with our drawer. Okay, now as you can see here, yeah, uh, we don't really need to provide the V icon for the hamburger menu. If we click it, then you will get the navigation drawer. Yeah, if I click premium, it will close automatically and it says premium. Uh, let's try all of them, yeah, Tab. yeah, and as you can see, because we set uh, the checkable attribute for these four items as true, then it will show a uh, highlight for the selected item. For it, yeah, but for profile, I don't think it will be highlighted, yeah, as you can see, inbox, and lastly, sign out. Okay, the listener works as intended. Yeah. Uh, another way to actually open the navigation drawer is to swipe from left to right, like this. Yeah. In and if you don't want to select any options, then uh, you can simply tap anywhere outside the drawer, or you can also swipe left. Okay, nice then. Yeah, we have implemented a navigation drawer into our application. Now, the third and the last video will be tab layout. Yeah, actually, it's quite similar with bottom navigation bar, but nevertheless, we will try to understand what a tab layout is. Yeah, we will discuss it and learn about it in the next video.